Right, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and this week's video. Today makes 11 weeks out of my first bodybuilding show. Obviously today is Sunday. Yesterday, Saturday was my check-in. 91.9 as you would have seen from the overlay. My check-in shots also on the screen view. Looking a lot tighter again still. Everything's coming in, everything's getting better every time that I check in. Even seeing some good improvements from Thursday. If you go to my 13 weeks out vlog, the link for that will be in the description below. You'll see just from Thursday, to Saturday there's been a 0.6 kilo drop and obviously that is noticeably shown in the physique. That being said I am very happy today as I've had two base days in a row. I did the whole week low days last week. See Saturday was a was the base day but Sunday through to yesterday was all low days. Today is also another base day so what that means is I have mince instead of egg whites my first meal. Felt great. Extra 25 grams of oats in meal one. Great. Extra 30 grams of rice in meals two and three which is absolutely beautiful. Post-workout shake today which I have missed dearly and some almond butter and meal too so i'm definitely gonna make full use of that when i go in and hit quads i'm just about to leave i've got my driving clothes on and get changed when i get there as, as to not train in the sweaty stuff that i drove in like get dressed feel fresh and go same again as last week same setup bit heavy on the hat squat bit lighter on the pendulum and then we're just gonna absolutely smash it i'm very much looking forward to this before i go cardio remains the same 40 minutes in the am i would have shown you and 20 minutes post workout which i would have also shown you on the screen but let's go let's do it absolutely big leg day and i'll catch you when i'm back Okay, right, what is going on? It is Monday, so back to the low day of food. I'm starting to feel it already, only two meals in. The cardio was done, it felt hard. You know how it is doing cardio the day after legs. Hopefully this looks alright because the sun's literally just come out as soon as I started filming. Yeah, quads went really, really well yesterday. That extra bit of food definitely led to a better pump and a great session as well. I'll leave a montage on the screen for you anyway. Leg extensions, upper rep, 90 by 14. Obviously still keeping some load in that, in that end range just to get the end range worked early. As I have mentioned plenty of times in the past, the leg extension is, is one of the only exercises that you can work the quads in its shortened range, so the fully flex, the squeeze. So it's good to put a bit of load in there, especially fresh early first exercise before there's any fatigue and then the squatting patterns are working more of that beginning to mid range to create a complete quad workout that being said to so the squatting patterns i went up from six and a quarter to six and a half plates aside i've got seven reps a good start if i had a spot there i maybe could have got an eighth but at this point it's like the risk is not worth the reward at this point we're not trying to grow new tissue we're trying to stimulate the muscle well and the aim is muscle retention as opposed to muscle growth so those 50 50 reps you still go for but when it becomes more of a 40 60 or a 30 70 where you're 30 percent likely to do it and 70 percent likely not to do it. it's not really worth it whereas the glycogen store is not there to give you the energy the fat store is not there to protect you and therefore it's just not as not worth it whereas obviously in your growing phase it will be similarly to the pendulum squat I, i'm not sure where i want the safety pin on that yet and it definitely wasn't high enough for me to take that chance for it whereas this time it was more of a 50 50 and i could have and maybe should have taken it if i knew the safety was there because there was no one there to spot me but we dropped from five to four and a half plates aside got eight reps so it's a good solid foundation to build upon over the coming weeks before my strength inevitably and eventually drops off leg press i went up from eight and a half to nine plates and i got eight reps on my top set felt great and i finished with my 30 rep rest pause of course finished off reductors match reps again just really with reductors making sure to contract with the adductor and not to just close my close my legs and use my feet to drive in i'm using my knees to drive in with my adductors i mentioned this before kind of turning your feet out and digging your heels inwards opens up that leg and really emphasizes the use and the contribution of the adductor to the movement so that's a small tip for you the pump shots also looking great obviously that extra 30 grams of carbs in the morning i think it's 31 total 15 and 16 on the two meals increased and obviously the added fats for the almond butter that i have on my base days that made the pump look even better still flattened out a lot since obviously legs takes a lot out of you and i'm definitely feeling mentally fatigued today but i've got i got delts so i'm gonna go in and smash it and when i'm back we'll reconvene and i'll take you through how it went <sighs> okay right we are back from arms i'll leave on the screen for you the uh, two pressing movements from yesterday's delts followed by my top set of stiff legs from today's arms and hamstrings i didn't film obviously the rest of the delts because i showed you that last week and i don't want this to become a vlog where i just check in with you every time i've got something to show you in terms of training I had some training clips to 
compliment rather than be the main priority of the video. And then I didn't film any of my arms for that, for that same reason. I just wanted to get in there, especially today. I just wanted to get in there, get it done. And I had a second wind towards the hamstring, so I got the camera out and filmed the top set of the comp the only real compound movement of the workout, unless you want to cl classify the machine dips as a compound as well for triceps, which I guess they kind of are. So why especially today? Since Sunday, Sunday, the leg session went absolutely unbelievable, as I mentioned to you in the beginning of the video but yesterday's shoulder session i maintained a good amount of strength minus the rear delts which fell off drastically but i felt awful when i was training honestly i felt so flat depleted just empty which obviously is part and parcel of the game and then again today this morning cardio was the hardest it's been so far it was so difficult i felt just like i had nothing else to give really i just felt so dead on the on the stairs and then i felt like crap the whole morning even when I got to the gym, I just felt so bad. But then the pre-workout kicked in, we got things done, arms, I progressed nearly every movement, which <laughs> kind of counteracts what I've just said, but I did so while still feeling. It's just, it really emphasizes the mental battle that comes in a dieting phase, a heavy dieting phase and a bodybuilding prep. It's why I'll probably title the video something to do with like men mental health and the swings and roundabouts that come with prep because it's not something you want to do if you're not mentally stable or not at peace with what is going to happen because even though myself I know you're meant to lose strength during prep a little bit, you're not going to feel great the whole time, it's going to be hard. Even though I know these facts as fact, it's just days like yesterday afternoon and this morning, it just, when it's actually there in front of you, it's easier said than done just to ignore it and get on. But saying that, you still gotta do the do. If uh, this is what I wanna do with the rest of my life, I wanna make a career out of this. So if I'm just gonna fall when the times get hard, it's not, not going to end up very well for me. So you just grit your teeth and you get through it. So like I said, swings and roundabouts because I felt crap all the way towards the end of the workout from yesterday afternoon, that whole way. You're trying to keep yourself busy during the day between your meals, but when you're mentally fatigued, it's hard to do stuff like work or editing these videos. Sometimes you just don't feel like it because your mind goes foggy and you turn a bit brain dead when you're hungry for a prolonged period of time. But then I've swung back around full circle and I feel great right now. I've had my post-workout meal i'm just about to have one of my jellies which is one of the highlights of the day and i have a pepsi max between my two final meals my penultimate and my final meal just as a form of treat as well as a form of hunger delaying and postponement between the meals bridge that gap between the two meals as i can't just eat every two hours like i did in the off season as i have to space them out a bit better otherwise i'll be going to bed about 7 p.m but yeah that is going to be this for this bit i just thought i'd take Obviously, I could have done this this morning, but I didn't want to be reactive. I wanted to take time to articulate it properly because it is a touchy subject, of course. And I also want to be transparent through this. It's, I'm not just doing it for myself. I want to create a good backlog for people to understand how it is, as well as obviously I'm, the main priority is just documenting my first prep so I can look back on it. And then obviously I'm putting it out there for everyone else to see as well. So there's no point doing it if I'm not going to keep it 100 with you the whole time. So there's some training. There's how I'm doing at the moment. And tomorrow's a rest day. Go do my cardio. Get them post-cardio posing rounds finished. And I'll show you them when we're done. And I'll catch you then. All right, so today is Wednesday. I've just got back from my second round of cardio. So woke up, did 40 on the stairs. Come back, had a meal. Waited about an hour, hour and 10. Then I went back, did my second round. Obviously today's my rest day, so I just did them back to back, get it out of the way. Doing them both on a lighter stomach. And I'll finish my steps later on in the day to add that third bit of activity to keep my output going a bit longer throughout the day rather than just having all now and nothing. However, it's not too bad because today is meant to be a day for rest and recovery. It's just a non-training day as there's no rest going on. That is for sure. My legs are feeling battered. Feeling a lot better than yesterday, like personally, physique-wise. I am feeling flat, empty, heavy. You'll see on the screen my post cardio posing rounds. Again, even flatter than last week, looking a little bit stringy. However, the lines are popping. My midsection is in. Even some nice little glute lines coming through on the side of my glute anyway. Just need that to come round onto the bulk of the glute now to really bring that good condition when it comes to stage day. My POA for the rest of the day is to do as little as possible, apart from my steps, obviously eat my meals. But I'm gonna edit this once I finish filming. And then today is a day of rest because tomorrow we're going into deadlift and having a big back day, I will aim to film that session in its entirety so that you'll have that to look forward to. And I'll have a separate video that would already be out by the time you're watching this going through that back day. So that is a wrap up of today. Like I said, getting into bed as soon as possible and doing absolutely as little as possible. I will catch you all tomorrow. Oh, my God.
And this machine with our body. So we can directly put it into the hip. Using the lap. Okay, so we are back from the gym. You would have just seen a little compilation of my back workout. As you may have noticed, I've mic'd up. I filmed a mic'd up back workout, talk through, walk through, just a raw workout, talk through a few of the tips, execution techniques, how I set up my back workout leading up to my first ever bodybuilding show. So the link to that will be in the description below for you to check out. Let me know if you, if you, if you like that sort of thing. I can try and do more. But as I mentioned in that video, I, I very much doubt I'll be doing many mic'd up videos as it's just a lot to mess around with as I film my own stuff and I don't have a videographer. But here are some of the pump shots. I literally came home, ate my post-workout meal and I'm filming this now. So I haven't looked at it myself. I, I felt a lot flatter today. The training was really well, really good. It went really well. I trained hard, felt great. I just felt a little bit flat. Obviously, that might, might show some new, some new detail in these in these photos, and it's obviously part and parcel of the game. Somehow, I've managed to do nearly all of my 12,000 steps already by three o'clock. So, I'm going to kick back, eat the rest of my meals, chill out, edit edit this video, and that back workout that I would have just shown you. I need to edit it up, not only for this vlog but for the workout video it would already be live by the time watching this video but that is that i'm very much worn out so i'm just gonna take my time going through it. i'm gonna crack a pepsi max and get to work and i will catch you all tomorrow for friday chest day the last installment of the vlog leading up to saturday check-in which i'm so excited for as it means we're another step closer to our first show i'll catch you tomorrow right what is going on everyone it is friday we are back from the gym as you can tell I've just finished shaving and it's time for meal four. Chest day today was absolutely sensational. Had a great session. Started off dreadful. The pec deck was broken, so we did it on the cable. It was great, felt amazing. Then we went into the prime press. You'll be seeing the clips on the screen for you here. Went up 10 pounds and got two less reps, but finished strong still. Rep quality was amazing as you'll be able to see. Then I don't know, I can't remember if I mentioned last week about not getting the reps and wanting to decrease the load on the Smith press, but we did that. We decreased the load and I got eight reps. So. Eight is where I want to be. Maybe add uh, two and a half aside next week to try and encourage some progression as we get deeper into prep, but not too fussed about that. Then we did the decline panetta strength. What I found more so this week is my strength is still there, but my muscular endurance has taken a massive hit. I mentioned in previous logs that it started to take a hit. I started to feel it later on in the session, but the drop off has been very noticeable this week. So. Going forward, I'm gonna reset that movement as to maintain quality and volume. Give me two seconds. Yeah, like I said, to maintain rep quality and volume as we get through the prep, obviously strength is going to decrease, especially in those pressing movements. Obviously I finished off with the tempo concentric press and then the trap movements. You will see, would have seen or will be seeing my post-workout posing shots, flatter, lot leaner, my front lat spread, Notably, probably my favorite one I've ever done. My best shot at the moment, alongside my ab and thigh, which you also be seeing, both the, ab, the abs crunched and the vacuum pulled. So I'm very, very happy with that. As you can see, we've got mill four on, like I mentioned at the start, chicken and cream of rice. Just nice and plain, 220 chicken, 50 grams of cream of rice. Tomorrow will be a back to the base day, penned in checking, of course, but I'm very excited. I've just bought some cinnamon, I don't know if you could, could have seen that, but I'm seeing them add some actual oats. For the longest time, I've been using those rolled oats, but as the quantity is getting lower and I'm getting hungrier, I'm just gonna do some of the some of the uh, instant oats alongside the actual oats, mix them together, add some salt and cinnamon in, and that'll be my thing going forward, which you'll have to check on next week's vlog. I'm very excited for that. I can't believe it. I filmed that whole back session and the music was louder than me, so. That's the L for the week. I'm just gonna get this eaten, get my next meal eaten and get to bed. Or oh, edit this first and then get to bed. So this is gonna be the end of the video and the end for this week's vlog. We will be starting our 10 weeks out journey as of tomorrow. Obviously Sunday is the real 10 weeks out, but the journey starts tomorrow. I hope you enjoy it.
If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, click that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload two a week at the moment, the weekly vlogs and some complimentary videos such as training footage, war footage, walkthrough footage, and full day of eatings, all, the, all that good stuff that goes around my lifestyle and my prep journey. Leave a comment down below, anything else you want to see in the coming videos. And for now, that is me. I'm out. I'll catch you all in a bit.